So I have only made time to watch the first episode of this One Piece live action, and so far, it looks very promising. Let's talk about it. First things first, I just want to say I love the main cast. Like, I love who Oda picked. I feel like Oda did a really good job. Like, it looks believable. I can actually see these people being the characters that they are portraying. Now, I don't know how other people may feel, but I personally don't have any complaints. Like, just off seeing the cast alone, I can tell that Oda put a lot of work into this, and for that, I am happy. I mean, I'm pretty sure that all of us are aware as anime and manga fans that the live actions, they have a reputation on their hands and it's not necessarily a good one. So for me, when I saw the main cast, who they chose for Luffy, who they chose for Nami, I personally felt a lot more comfortable. I will say I was kind of worried about a few things, like, you know, when it comes to anime, when it comes to live actions, certain things, they just don't translate well and I was just kind of worried about things like that. Like, just to give y'all a few examples of some of the things I was worried about, I was kind of worried about how Luffy's abilities would look. I was kind of worried about how would Zoro look using three swords. I was kind of worried about how the devil fruits would look, how the snails would look. You know, I was just kind of worried about how that would look. And I mean, to be honest, I think they did a pretty good job with some of these things that I was worried about because they look pretty decent to me. And this could have been announced already, I'm not sure. But another thing I was kind of worried about was the pacing. Like, were they going to try and squeeze all of One Piece into one big movie? Were things going to be jeopardized because they're trying to fit so much and stuff gets left out? But I was really happy to see that it's several episodes out, actually. It's not just one movie. So I feel a little bit more comfortable with that aspect as well because that makes me feel a little bit better about the pacing. Now, I'll be honest, I'm kind of critical when it comes to live action because ever since I watched Dragon Ball Evolution, I have not viewed live actions the same. The only reason I gave this a chance is because it is One Piece and because I trusted Oda. He has not failed us yet. And so far, I'm not regretting the decision to trust Oda. I will say so far, it has been very fun to see what's happening in live action and compare that to the manga and anime. There were a lot of things I did like and there were a few things I didn't really like. But before I get into that, I just want to see if y'all caught Gold Rogers or Goldie Rogers teeth. I hope y'all don't think I'm weird for this, but it was one of the first things I noticed because I wondered in the back of my head, how are they going to make everyone's teeth look? Because pirates, they really shouldn't have clean and nice teeth. Because you know, traditionally in anime, teeth looks perfect, everyone's bodies look perfect, everything just looks perfect. But I wasn't sure with this live action if things were going to look a little bit more realistic. I mean, I definitely can't be the only person that wondered that, but I'm just saying it came to my mind. The next thing I kind of want to talk about is a few of the differences between the anime slash manga and the live action. Some of these differences I liked and one in particular I didn't like. So I'll just start with the one that I didn't like. Okay, so it was a scene where Zora was walking into the bar and Luffy and Nami and Kobe, they're here, which is not how they met in the manga, like we're all aware. But it was pretty nice because I guess Oda's trying to be audience friendly to the people who aren't aware of One Piece. Anyway, Zoro's at the bar and what felt very random was this little girl giving him rice balls out of like nowhere. Like I didn't like that part and maybe I'm just comparing it to the manga because I do feel like the manga was better in that aspect because to me she doesn't have any reason to give a stranger rice balls. So I definitely like the manga version of that better where Zoro is captured. He had tried to save her and stick up for her and she brings him rice balls because he's going to be starving. They're not feeding him. So I definitely like the manga version better. The live action version of the girl giving him rice balls just felt random and unnecessary to me. And I mean, maybe the point of that in this scene was for Zoro to show off his skills. Luffy, live action Luffy to be impressed by Zoro. So I could see the reasoning behind it. But personally, that's like the only thing I didn't really like. I mean, there was kind of something else that bothered me a little bit, but I obviously got to keep watching to see where this is going. But I felt like it was implied that Luffy is an orphan here. I want to take it easy on him, Captain. He's got the family to speak of, the kid's on his own. Better a disappointed kid now than a dead one later. Which in the manga, we know that Garp dropped him off with a few people can't remember how to say her name but Garp dropped him off with a bandit or whatever and she's supposed to be looking after Luffy 
So, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to call Luffy an orphan if he's running around, hanging out with pirates and doing what he wants in the first place. But that kind of bothered me slightly. Besides that, I liked a lot about the first episode already. And I mean, compared to the two, one or two things I didn't like, I liked like probably five or six. So overall, I like it a lot. Not to mention there are some things that happens a little bit differently in the manga. But I don't think that's off-putting. I think that's kind of a good thing because it's a little bit different and everything isn't just copy and paste. So that's good in that aspect. Like for an example, I feel like in the live action, there's a lot more hype around Zoro and they kind of focused on showing his skill set. Because in the manga, the first time we saw Zoro, he was already captured. He was already locked up. So, I mean, that was kind of cool. We got to see more of Zoro's skill set. Something else I also didn't mind was how when Luffy met Kobe for the first time, they first interacted. It was a little bit different. Like, you know, in the manga, Luffy got found out pretty quick. And the manga version is a little bit funnier in my opinion. But with the live action, you know, there's a little bit of delay and he didn't get found out immediately. In live action, Luffy definitely spared Kobe's feelings a little bit compared to manga Luffy. Because manga Luffy, he went for the throat. Like, he did not pull back any punches whatsoever, and that's one of my favorite things I like about Luffy. He does not hold his tongue back. And then the last thing I'm kind of going to point out, like, I don't want to sit here and point through every single thing, like, unless you guys want me to. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. But the last thing I'm going to point out is, you know, that scene where Luffy ate the devil fruit. In a manga, Luffy ate the devil fruit right beside him, which, I mean, he's right beside y'all. How did y'all not know, or why did y'all bring it in there to begin with? So I kind of like the live action version where, you know, Luffy was live action. Luffy was rummaged around. He stumbled upon it, had time to eat it. And then, you know, Shanks found out when he went back to the bar. So I like that version a little bit better. But I mean, I'm enjoying the live action a lot. I mean, One Piece is my favorite anime of all time, favorite manga of all time. But I'm curious. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all have a few things y'all aren't liking about the live action? Do y'all have some things that y'all actually prefer the live action over the manga? Let me know. Feel free to be open. As always, thank you for tuning in. Sierra Nova is out.